This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Buffalo. We got a new angle and new questions for you. This is the show where you can ask me, John Rettinger, any question you've got from the wide world of technology and sometimes a little bit outside. Up this week, we're going to talk a little bit about my personal life, what devices I am looking forward to the most, what is up with the HTC One and Facebook Home and all kinds of other tech goodness in one kind of condensed episode. This is Ask the Buffalo. Let's go to get started. So the first question comes from Josh. Hey John, when your work day is done and you go home, do you watch your own videos or just respond to comments? So the YouTube comments thing, I got a love-hate relationship with it. Sometimes the comments can make you super sad. Internet can be a very mean, harsh place. Things can be along the lines of, I hate your voice, your voice is too high, your voice is too low, your face looks like it smells. So once every two months, I'll say, you know what, that's it. I'm not reading comments anymore, and it lasts for about a day. At the end of the day, though, I really like our audience, and I really like the people that watch the videos. I know they're just a few bad apples. So, Josh, I do go home, I do read the comments, I do respond to comments. We have so many videos up, we have thousands of videos. Usually I only look at the past two or three from that day or the previous day and respond to things. But all the responses in there are always from me. I love to interact, love to say hi, and it's a great way to talk to folks who support YouTube uh, and support Techno Buffalo. So if that helped, answer your question. Damish wants to ask, Hi John, what are you excited about most this year? And give me options. iOS 7, iPhone 5S, Android Keyline Pie, and Galaxy Note 3. That's a tough one. I'm excited about all of them. The Galaxy Note line of phones have always had a very soft spot in my heart just for their freakishly large screen. I think it's more of a novelty, and I loved them. I loved the original Galaxy Note, I loved the original Galaxy Note 2, and I'm guessing then I'm probably going to dig the Galaxy Note 3. You know, the iPhones are always exciting devices. They're big annual events that come with a lot of fanfare and excitement. I think the 5S is going to usher in iOS. That one's going to be absolutely tremendous. But for me, what I am most excited about is Key Lime Pie. I'm hearing rumors that Google's got some crazy awesomeness up their sleeve for Android 5.0. I think we're going to see it in just a few short weeks at Google I.O. We're hearing crazy things that there might be an entirely new way to interact with chat messages. Maybe it's gonna look like chat heads on Facebook Home or full support native OS for up to octa-core chips. The nerd in me, it's gotta be Key Lime Pie. I can't wait. Plus, it's tasty. Fernando Ryder is asking, what cell phone plan carrier do you use, if any, for your personal phone? So I've got my own personal plan. We actually have a company account with AT&T, and my phone line is on that. The phone that I'm using right now is the HTC One, hand down my favorite phone of the year. So this is my daily driver right now. Because we test so many phones, usually my daily driver gets cycled out for something different. I want to make sure that every phone I use gets a chance to be that daily driver. You can learn so much about a phone when you actually use it. You know, if you're just sitting there reviewing a phone, you might not know how it works to connect to Bluetooth. You might not know how it functions when you get two messages at once. Things that you just wouldn't know if you don't use it regularly. So it switches out, but right now when I'm not reviewing a device, HTC One is in my pocket. Anner Modic wants to ask, at John for Lakers, after unboxing the HTC first, do you think Facebook Home will last long? It's something people actually like and actually use. So that's a good question. I've just started my review process here. Uh, on the HTC first. The honest answer is I'm not sure. I'm not confident yet in using it to know whether or not folks are going to want to use this as their daily phone. So by the time you guys watch this video, it'll be filmed a few days before you actually watch it. So perhaps I will have a different opinion. But I will say my first blush, Chat Heads is pretty awesome. I really like the way it's been integrated. And one of the coolest things about the HTC first, you can totally turn off Facebook Home and get stock Android and still use Chat Heads. So from that standpoint, I think people are gonna pick this up. I think if you want sort of a Nexus-esque experience on AT&T and for 99 bucks it's a pretty sweet deal hope that helped answer your question so we take a minute from the questions to thank our friends and sponsors at Netflix you know them you love them you know exactly what they do they stream TV shows and movies directly to your home trying to save you time money and most importantly hassle as a Netflix member you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC Mac or right to your TV with your game console, your Xbox 360, your PS3, your Nintendo Wii, your Nintendo Wii U, or what have you. Watch as many movies as you want, there's no limit, and you can cancel it totally anytime. So if you want to see what's going on with Mad Men, you've heard it's a good show, and you want to catch up for season one, try Netflix. 
Get a free 30-day trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash buffalo and sign up. Be sure to use that URL though so they know we sent you. Again, that's netflix.com slash buffalo. Thank you guys for watching the episode of Ask the Buffalo. If you want to submit your questions, you can do it every Tuesday on technobuffalo.com. We'll put up a call on an article. You can leave your questions down below in the comments. Otherwise, send them to us on Twitter, either me personally at john 4 lakers or at technobuffalo. Be sure to use hashtag AskTheBee. Thank you guys for your support. Please give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video.